I wanted to shoot a quick update on the RGB um, DMX strobe lights using these uh, high power, these 10 watt LEDs. Um, what I'm doing out of my power supply here, I'm just running straight over. This is one of the um, constant current DMX LED drivers. So I've got my input there. That comes out on a common positive and a red, green, blue, negative. Um, those I'm running down to this little bank of uh, MOSFETs here. Um, and then from there running right into my RGB LED. Um, the base leads on these MOSFETs are all tied together. And then those are tied down here to my strobe circuit um, that I built. So I, I did put a little LED on the strobe circuit, if I can get it centered here. Um, that way I can see on the board as I adjust slower or faster on my flash rate um, what that's going to look like. And then on also on my length of flash, whether I want that to be a, a longer flash there or a really nice quick short burst. Something about there. So I think that looks uh, about five flashes a second. That's a pretty pretty good little strobe break. So now that signal, um, which I've also wired to this uh, screw terminal going out, is being sent down to these MOSFETs. Um, which is interrupting, um, or rather causing the strobe flash on the LEDs. The only thing that I have not been able to answer with this, and you'll be able to see it here real quick, see how we have the green that's not flashing? Um, for some reason at low intensities, and I think it's just there's there's not enough current going through that MOSFET to actually get it to gate. Um, but when these are on really, really low um, intensity in a fade, they are not flashing along with the strobe light. Um, as long as I do a full on, like here, it actually looks like the blue is off, the blue is on. Um, but as long as I do a full on, it flashes just fine. When the colors go through the slow fade up or slow fade down, anything under it seems to be about um, a 20%. Um, I get the the dull glow instead of the strobe. So I'm looking for something um, that has a little higher sensitivity and I think one of the issues may be that in order to use the um, inexpensive little uh, trimmer resistors here um, that's uh, 102 and 104 in order for me to use those I have to keep my voltage on the board um, pretty low uh, and you can see I'm using a regulator here to knock the, the current on the circuit down so coming out of this I only have 5 volts and I'm thinking that perhaps that 5 volts is not enough to trigger these uh, TIP42 uh, 42s, yeah. Um, and so if I if I change these out um, to a larger, say, a full size potentiometer, I think that may allow this whole circuit to work um, and will give me the gating that I need at this lower intensity. It just they're a little more expensive and they take up a little bit more room on the board. Um, so I did go ahead and order a couple. I'm going to try those larger potentiometers out and see if that'll do it. Um, I mean, For now, really, this works as long as I do a full on or off. Um, the issue for me looking at that was that, you know, if you call something RGB, if you call it full color, it should support color mixing. And if I try to color mix and one of these intensities is below that 20%, then I'm going to get a glow, um, like what you're seeing there, instead of a flash. So I'm going to try to play around with um, this flasher circuit a little bit more because the main timer chip and